Hi, scholars. I'm back. We're back reading Where the Mountain Meets the Moon, and we're on chapter 33, where we left off last week. Um, I'm going to go back just to paragraph and reread and ask you to think about what has happened. Um, you might have the opportunity to go back and watch the last chapter, which was chapter 32. Um, Minley swallowed hard and quickened her pace. The wind seemed to scream a warning and even under the layer of Dafu's blanket, she felt cold. Would they be, be too late? Would they be able to save Dragon? So um, you can pause this video if you want and think about what has happened in the story. If you thought about it, you know that they went to get help, right? She went to get help and she met the twins. The twins went to their grandfather and he said that, uh, that the, what did he say? The green tiger is no ordinary beast. His teeth and claws are poison. Without the medicine I have, he will die before seeing the sunset. Okay, chapter 33. He's in here. Minley called to Afu, Dafu, and their grandfather, pointing to the cave opening. Even before reaching the entrance, Agong was already holding the medicine bottle in his hand. As they rushed inside, Minley was relieved to hear Dragon's rasping breath. He was still alive. But as the children and their grandfather saw him lying in the dim light, they stopped, shocked still. Your friend, your friend, the boy said in awe is a dragon. The old man recovered from his surprise. Oh yes, you forgot to tell him that, right? The old man recovered from his surprise. It matters not, he said to them quickly. Where is his wound? Minley carefully unwound her blanket from dragon's arm and winced. The gashes seemed to have burned into him like evil coals. The blackness had spread and his arms looked like a burnt tree. Swiftly, the man pushed Minley aside and began to pour the liquid from the medicine jar over Dragon's black arm. The tonic was a clear yellow green with a gentle aroma of fresh flowers and grass, reminding Minley of a spring morning. As it washed over Dragon's diseased arms, his tightly closed eyes relaxed and the grimace on his face smoothed as if a deep pain was relieved. The medicine melted the dark poison. The blackness seemed to be rinsing away and dragon's breathing became easier and even. I'm gonna see if I can turn this so that you can see my eyes, kind of like I'm looking at you, but I'm looking at the book. Let's see if that helps any. Okay. Minli sighed. She hadn't realized until then that she had been holding her breath. She knew even before the man smiled, the dragon was going to be okay. Da'afu, the old man said, and Minli realized that he was calling both his grandchildren with a single name. Go home and tell the family what has happened and where I am or they will worry. I need to stay with the dragon. Tell Ama and all the women to make more medicine and when it is ready, bring it to me. This dragon will need to drink it when he awakens. Thank you, Minley said softly. The man turned and looked at her wind-burned face, tangled hair and eyes, sh eyes shadowed with weariness. He is going to be fine, the grandfather said to her kindly, and then turned back to the children. Da'afu, bring this girl home and tell Ama to take care of her. She has not slept in a warm bed for a long time. I want to stay with Dragon, Minley protested. I want to help him. I will stay with him, the old man said to her. Don't worry, he will be fine. You have already helped him. Minley opened her mouth to argue, but a yawn formed instead. She realized the man was right and nodded her head. The boy took one of Minley's hands and the girl took the other and they led her out of the cave. Oh, I'm feeling so relieved for her. I feel like she's, she's had to figure out so much on her own and here she has some help. Do you ever feel like that? Where you had to figure out a lot on your own and then finally you have help from a sister or a brother or something like that? If you can think of a text to self-connection right now, 
turn to someone and tell them what it is. You can just turn to yourself. You can turn to your stuffy. And I forgot to show you the picture. Maybe that's the medicine. Mm. All right.